What's going on Cougs? I'm Luke Westfall with Wazoo Recap here at Beasley Coliseum where your Cougars took on the Washington Huskies in the first edition of this year's Apple Cup, taking the victory 56-51 behind a strong performance from Mohamed Gay. The Cougar men's team was looking to bounce back from a pair of losses last week to USC and to UCLA on the road, including a blowout loss to the Bruins last Saturday. It started off good at home with a 5-0 run to take the early lead for the Cougars capped off by a DJ Rodman basket, his first since coming back from an illness that kept him out of the last two games. After the Huskies narrowed the lead at 12-11, it was an electric fast break capped off by Muhammad Gay on a hot potato-like play that made it 15-11 after an and-one free throw. Later, it was TJ Bamba who would intercept a pass and take it all the way himself for a fast break slam to make it 20-15 Cougars. Later, the lead was 20-20, but the Cougars would finish the half on an 11-2 run to take a 31-22 lead into the halftime break. In the second half, the Cougars would jump out to a 37-31 lead that would be narrowed down to 37-35 and then 40-37 before Jabe Mullins would hit a pair of three-pointers eventually making it 47 to 37. It was his first game making multiple three-pointers since January 12th against Cal. Mullins, of course, is the former three-point percentage leader in the Pac-12 and was on a tough stretch, having only made four of his last 25 coming into this game since January 12th. Later in the game, towards the end of the second half, the Cougars led 51 to 47 after not scoring for nearly five minutes and eventually icing the game on free throws and with some good defense despite star guard Justin Powell fouling out with 38 seconds left to go in the game and the Cougars would finish it off 56-51. Mohamed Gay recorded his 11th double-double of the season with 17 points and 15 rebounds and TJ Bomba recorded 20 points and 7 rebounds along with DJ Rodman in his first game back going 1 for 8 but recording 9 rebounds. The Cougs also out-rebounded UW 47-35 and won the game despite only shooting 29% from the field. With this win, the Cougars now move to 8-3 and three at home and 6-9 and nine on the season in the Pac-12, now moving up to 8th in the conference. Their next competition will be on Thursday right back here at Beasley Coliseum against the Oregon State Beavers. For Wazoo Recap, I'm Luke Westfall.